Hi, this is Gail Nettles with Be The Joy Diva, and today we are going to make this charm ring. This is a lot of fun to make. It's very easy, and you can make it in all sorts of shapes and sizes using all kinds of different charms. Let's go ahead and get started making this charm ring. The supplies that you'll need are as follows. A piece of wire, 20 gauge, this is about 10 inches, it's probably a good length to start out with. You will need a variety of charms. You'll need an open jump ring. You'll need a pair of cutters, a ring mandrel, you can probably also use a pen or whatever if your um, ring fingers are small enough. Um, a pair of pliers, these are chain nose, and a pair of round nose pliers. Start by taking your round nose pliers and find roughly the middle of your 10 inch piece of wire. It doesn't have to be exact. Grip it and what you're going to do is you're going to make a loop with your wire. So you're just making a loop around the round nose plier. So this is what it looks like. You're going to take your ring mandrel or whatever it is that you're using, a dowel or a pen or whatever, and you're going to go ahead and, and it's, there we go. You're going to want to have your ring side up, so the loop side up, and you're going to push the wire around. So I've got one wire pushed around. Then you're going to take the other one and wrap it around. Until it looks like this. So you see your loop is in the middle and we've got a, a wire end on either side. Now what you're going to want to do, and this is just a little on the tricky side at first, you're going to take, you're going to hold your, your wire or your thumb over the wires on this side and you're going to start wrapping this wire down. So I'm wrapping this one down. Now you're going to turn it around and with your thumb on this other wire you're going to take this one and wrap it up. So now you've got a wire going in either direction. Take this wire and wrap it around more, so you're going to loop it around just a bit more. Take this other wire, do the same thing. So you're kind of making a spiral. So get this wire, wrap it just a little bit more so it's going straight up. And that wrap this one a little bit more so it's going straight down. And wrap this one around one more time. And wrap this one around one more time. So this is what you have so far. And you can see you've still got your loop on top. I've taken the ring off the mandrel and this is what it looks like up close. Let's see if I can get that focused right. Okay, so we've got this, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and wrap these wires down and around the shank of the ring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of my chain nose pliers, and I'm going to take this wire, and I'm going to pull it down. Then I'm going to hold on to the other side, take this wire, and pull it down. So we've got both wires going down. Now this is a good example of what could happen. You can see that this wire has kind of come up a little bit. All I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it with my chain nose pliers and just pull it down a bit. And just kind of squish it. So there, it's level again. Now you notice that these wires are really long. 
Now I tell you to start with about 10 inches of wire because I've always rather have too much wire than not enough and that's probably a good reason enough to start with copper wire. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my cutters and I'm going to cut off, I'm going to go, go to here and cut off roughly to the bottom of the shank. So this is my free edge and I'm cutting it. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So right about here and cut it. And again, if, if your loops start coming up a little bit, just grab them and hold on to them. Now you're going to want to go ahead and grab and hold on to one of your loops. And what you're going to do is you're going to push it through the ring. And let me get this other side away. So what you're going to do is you're going to push it through the ring. Still got to get that one out of the way. So here we go. It's coming through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around the shank. And this may look like it's going out of, out of uh, alignment, but don't worry, that's going to get fixed. And this is the pr trickiest part of the entire process, is wrapping this around. And sometimes it's a lot easier to go ahead and after you've wrapped the first one, it's just to go ahead and put it back on your ring mandrel and kind of use it to, to stabilize it. So I've got this about where I want it. So now I'm going to take a pair of cutters and I'm going to cut it. Now I'm going to take this side of the ring and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take it, I'm going to cut it just a little bit more so I can push it through easier. So I'm going to take this wrap it through the ring. So I've wrapped it through. And again, if this comes out of alignment a, a little bit, just kind of hold it down. Okay, I've wrapped it through once. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it again. I like to wrap it at least twice. And then I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this back on the ring mandrel and just tighten it up just a little bit more. Here we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And be careful when you're cutting these um, because you don't want to hurt your finger when you're wearing these so you don't want any sharp edges. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and push this down on either side. And if you see any little ends sticking out like there is right here, just going to go ahead and clip them. And if it looks still just a tiny bit wonky, then you just go ahead and flatten it out some. There we go. So this is your ring. Now to go ahead and put the charms on. Now to go ahead and put your ring together. So you've got your ring and I've got an open jump ring and I don't know if I mentioned it before but this jump ring is an 18 gauge and about a 5 millimeter outside diameter and I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of my charms and put them on the jump ring. So, it doesn't matter how many you put on, whatever, whatever it is that suits your fancy. I've got all my jump rings on. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it through the ring. I'm going to find my other pair of pliers and I'm going to close the jump ring. So there, all my charms are through the loop on the ring. So this is what it looks like. And 
whoopsie daisy this is what it looks like on now I've got several of them on so you can see that that eh, may be a little bit of overkill <laughs> but you can see that I have like just two of them on and let's just put that one on just so you can see it all by itself so there we go we've got a ring charm or a charm ring so there we go that is your charm ring and they look great together so you can go ahead and layer them if you like and you know play around with them um, I would suggest making it in copper before you make them in like sterling silver or something but here are your charm rings I hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you don't already subscribe to my channel I hope you do and I'd love to see you over at my website BeatedJewelryDiva.com This is Gail Nettle signing off and saying have a beautiful day. Bye!